Hey guys, it's Rachel here. So this week's video is going to be on something super, super, super exciting. So today I'm actually going to be telling you guys about my experience on seeing my film that I filmed that I was the lead in for the first time. Now I've talked about this project before if you've watched a lot of my videos. About a year ago I did a video titled What to Bring on Set as an Actor. And in that video I said how I was in Kentucky, I was filming a project, a short film. But I couldn't tell you guys much about it, but I can tell you about it now because it's released, it's actually, the film has been released since like October is when they opened the museum. So basically the short film is played in a museum exhibit that is in Corden, Indiana. Probably a place you have not heard about before, but you may have heard of the Battle of Corden. That is actually what the film is about. It's about the battle. I play a character, a historical character, Tia Porter. She was actually alive during the battle. That was really cool to me to like actually play somebody that actually went through life that I could develop into. Somebody that was real and alive during the battle. But a Tia actually actually wrote letters to her cousin John about the battle and they found those letters later in life and they made those into the monologue which I said in the film. Now the film is about six minutes long. The museum that it's in is the Harrison County Discovery Center. Like I said, it's in Indiana. The film actually filmed in Kentucky but the museum is in Indiana. So basically the exhibit that the film is in, it's like a hallway and the film is like projected on both sides of the hallway. So in order to see the full effect of the film, to see the full film you have to like keep looking everywhere that you are and stuff and I knew that that was how the film was kind of formatted but I didn't exactly know what to expect so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience on seeing this film for the first time actually just like two weeks ago I went to finally see the film for the first time that was the first time I'd ever watched it I was actually going to the museum and seeing it myself and it was so cool it was such a great experience for me that I wanted to share with you guys this acting community that we have going here and just a disclaimer I'm not in any way trying to like brag about this film. It's a very small project, but it is one of the first paid gigs that I ever did. You know, it filmed last summer and it was such a great experience to be on set of this film. And so actually seeing it like in action, like seeing myself actually in a film somewhere, like what I really love doing, what I want to do in my future, like that is a defining moment for me, a very, very special moment. And I vlogged the whole day for you guys. I went up with my family, my brother, my dad, and my mom, and I vlogged it all just seeing it, my first reaction, talking about it, whatever, going into the museums just so you can get a feel for what it is. But yeah, so I'm not, I'm not trying to brag at all. I'm simply doing this because you guys ask me all the time what kind of projects I'm in. You want to see me and stuff. You know, and I feel the same way about you guys. I love to see you in things whenever you shout them out to me or send me a link to something. And so I figured I'd make a video about this. But yeah, so let me just get started into talking about that day of seeing it. So like I said, I went with my family and Indiana is a drive for me so we definitely had to take the trip out there but it was worth it hey guys so I only have like half of my makeup on right now sorry but it is early in the morning and me and my family are about to travel to the museum I'm so so excited I cannot wait so we have a long journey ahead of us but it's worth it I hope <laughs> so anyways we took our little road trip on the way to the museum but then we finally got there and I was so nervous for some reason. Hey guys, we're almost at the museum that I'm in. I'm with my family. There's my mom, my brother, my dad. <laughs> and we're almost there. I'm getting kind of nervous to see myself. Everyone excited? Yeah. You know, this is not normal for me. Never do I go somewhere and watch a film that I've been in. You know, I watch my YouTube videos that I make in my room every week, but it's not the same thing, you know? So walking in, I was super nervous, but super, super, super excited. Okay, so we're here. We really don't know what to expect, but we'll see what happens. Is that where we're supposed to Yay! <laughs> I'm excited! Yay. Yay! Okay, so this is the museum. So I didn't know how the museum was set up at all. I hardly even knew what other exhibits were in there besides like my film. So we kind of just walked in like, uh, yeah, yeah. And the ladies at the front desk were like super welcoming and super nice. And they were like, so what are you guys coming here for? Like, do you want a tour of the museum? It's a very small museum. Usually they give you a tour of the full museum and just tell you a little bit more information as you're walking through it and stuff. So they asked us kind of what we were looking for when we came to the museum and my mom actually told the lady she's like well actually my 
daughter was in a film that is supposed to be here. Um, yeah. And the lady kind of looked at me and I'm like, and I was like, yeah, it's the, like, the Battle of Corden film ringing a bell of any sort. And the lady kind of like stood there for a minute like, uh, and I'm thinking in my head, gosh, did we come to the wrong museum? Did they take the exhibit out? <laughs> but after she sat there for a second, she's like, oh, you play a Tia Porter in the film. Like she recognized me and the other lady was like, whoa, you play the person in the movie. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so they recognized me and they're like, well, we'll give you a coupon. So they gave me a coupon to the museum, which is really nice. <laughs> And then they started taking us on a little tour of the museum. Now actually my exhibit happened to be at the very end of like the tour, like the very end of the little path that you walk through the museum. So I was walking through like keeping my eyes open like goodness gracious I'm nervous I don't know when it's gonna come up. But they had so many cute little exhibits there. Like I said it's a small museum. The employees there are so 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 nice and we're just like explaining all the information to us and letting us walk around and look at everything that we wanted. And it was really really cute. I really Really loved everything that was there and then finally we got to my film now I remember I actually walked to where the film was playing and it plays like in rounds the film was like six minutes so it plays like for six minutes and then it's like a 30 second break and then it plays for another six minutes and when we had walked up it was like during one of the one of the screenings so we wanted to wait and like watch it fully <laughs> That's where the film is. So this is where the um, film is. It's like an interactive Morgan's Raid, that's what it's called. But I remember like hearing like a girl's voice, but I was like, that does not sound like me. Like I was telling like my dad and my brother, I'm like, that's not me, is it? Like that that does not sound like me. Like, you know when you listen to your voice, it just doesn't sound like you to like how you usually hear it? That was how it was and my dad's like, yeah, definitely is your voice, like it definitely is. And so I was especially nervous going into that because I'm like, I sound terrible, like it's just giving me back. And finally, that screening stopped and the lady kind of like told us a little bit about the film. In the hallway where the film is, there's like, four little chairs that we could sit in and so we kind of sat there and I got to watch it for the first time and the beginning of the film is like this big close-up of like my mouth like like just like really like extreme close-up of my face I was just studying close-up <laughs> And I remember like filming that shot. I didn't think about it before we saw it. Like I remembered it after I saw it, but I didn't think about it. And so like literally the first 30 seconds of the film are like just that and I'm like, ah! But it was so, so cool, and then I had a couple more monologues where my face is like on the screen, just talking. The battle raged violently for 30 minutes. Just think of it. After the general skedaddle, Colonel Jordan wisely put up the white flag, and we were prisoners to a horde of thieves and murderers. I don't want you to think I am making fun of our brave home guards, for I am not in the least. But now that all the danger is over, it is real funny to think of how our men did run. We received the news that Corden has been surrendered. I got some pictures by it. That's such like a, a really, really touching and breathtaking moment like for somebody like me who really does mainly theater so I never get to see my performances and actually like seeing it for the first time. When I filmed this film, I was actually only on set for like two hours and then the filming process only took like 30 minutes because um, I was in front of a green screen and stuff. Let me know if you want to see a video on my experience filming this film. Like I can tell you about how 
it was like to prepare and be on set for this film and the crew and everything like how it was if you want me to do a video on that I can definitely do that right after I upload this video so let me know and I'll be doing that for you just so you can get a better feel of like how it was on set behind the scenes kind of stuff I took like a lot of behind the scenes pictures when I filmed it so you might want to see that I don't know let me know but it was just really cool to like see how it all came together from what I didn't see while I was filming you know what I mean and I probably lingered around the film area for like uh, 45 minutes just watching it over and over again and taking different shots and different pictures and stuff for this video and just documenting it for my own memories and then I remember one of the times that I was standing there another family was coming through to see the film and one of the ladies from the front desk happened to be giving them a tour at that moment and I was standing there and she was explaining what the film was about and she goes oh and this very young lady she actually played a Tia in the film and the, the whole family looked at me and I was like Hey. <laughs> but no, they, they were super sweet about it, super nice. And it was cool to see their reaction, like somebody's reaction to the film other than my family's. The film was so cool. It was so cool to see it. Wasn't it cool? It was very cool. It was very exciting. <laughs> it was really cool. Love the outcome. There's people in there right now and the lady like told them that I was in it. She was like, it's so cool that she's in it. And it made me realize like, how many people see it every day as they walk through the museum like that's mind-blowing to me like people actually walk through that and see my face every day while they're just casually strolling through a museum and they don't even know it's me and then past the film is actually like information about my character and and information about the battle and stuff like that which I was reading and taking pictures of and stuff so I play a Tia Porter in the movie and so we're just there's like this thing about her and stuff and this was actually her. I don't think I look like her at all, but... And then that is pretty much the end of the museum. Then we came back to the lobby, we talked to the ladies a lot more. They were actually asking me about like the filming process, and so I was telling them all about it. Like I said, let me know if you guys want to hear about it. They were really excited about it that I was like there and really like loving the exhibit and the museum and stuff. I definitely recommend going there and getting a tour from them. The one lady actually took my picture. She's like, my manager will love to see that you came in to see this film and everything. Thing, so she took my picture. We talked more and then I actually left and that was the end of seeing the museum. Like I said guys, the museum is called the Harrison County Discovery Center and it's in Indiana. So if you're ever by the area and want to stop by, make sure you see me and tell the ladies at the front desk that you know me from YouTube and that you're watching me. That would be really cool. The film is called Morgan's Raid from the Battle of Corden, like I said, and I play a Tia. That was basically my experience all in all and it was really awesome. You know, it's nothing extravagant. I'm definitely an aspiring actress that gets super super stoked over even little things like this, little films that I do. But still, you know, it's it's a milestone and it's something that I can always look back on. I know I was kind of rambly in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys ask for this kind of video all the time and I'm excited that I finally got to do it, actually going and seeing it and everything. I, I thought no better chance than to document for my people. I had to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below leaving me any video requests or questions that you have. I'm going to try to be filming a lot more videos coming up in these next few weeks before I move into college. I actually move into college in two weeks. That's crazy. So make sure you leave me those requests. Subscribe to this channel for weekly acting videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to. And I will see you in my next video. Keep on breaking legs. Bye. I'm back with Mariana. But this week we're we're going to be doing the actor tag which was created by Brittany Joyle. Basically just a list of questions that talk about acting, personal experiences. Who would you want your on-screen boyfriend to be? Oh snap. <laughs> oh snap. Oh. What do you want to accomplish in five years? 